what's up guys it's Sterellium and today I'm going to be showing you how to run Minecraft with more RAM or more memory. Now I know what you might be thinking Nick there's like a million and one videos out there on how to do this. Yes there are uh, and I've looked through a lot of them and to be nice and put it in kind terms most of them are complete shit. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them have some misinformation a lot of them show you some really weird roundabout ways to do it like opening up the command prompt manually and typing it in and all that. You don't need to do all that um, and let me stress again this is just for Windows um, this is not for Mac there is a way to do it similarly with Mac but I'm not gonna go over that um, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple icon a batch file that you can create a shortcut put it anywhere you want and run Minecraft with however much memory you want um, so first thing you need to do is locate exactly where your Minecraft executable is actually sitting um, so you may have created a shortcut on your desktop. The actual executable may be sitting on your desktop too, but the easiest way to find out is um, to click your icon. And even if this is a shortcut that's say on your desktop and not in a folder like I have here, um, click properties and you can see the actual location where it's executing. So you need to find that folder and go to it. And like me personally, I put it in my user file and I made its own little folder here called Minecraft. Um, and then inside that folder what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a brand new text file um, you can do this with notepad or notepad plus plus which is what I recommend and we're gonna call it um, right now we're gonna call it run four gigabytes because we're gonna create one that's gonna run Minecraft with four gigabytes and you can do this with any amount so you know you can make different executables if you want for different amounts like one for four one for eight however many you have available um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to explain a little bit about what you're actually typing in so that you're not just putting in, you know, copy pasting something and not knowing what you're doing. Um, first thing you need to understand is that a batch file like what we're creating here um, is essentially a shortcut to the command prompt. Um, you guys know that if you type CMD and you open up the command prompt, um, you could type in all this same stuff here and it would do the same thing. It would run Minecraft with you know whatever directions you gave it. What a batch file does is it gives you an icon that you can click, an executable file, and it tells Windows, you know, um, whatever is in this text file, run it in the command prompt. So first thing we're gonna do is tell it that we're running Java. It needs to execute Java first. Um, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define how much memory we have. So first we're gonna define the max memory so we're going to uh, say um, 4 gigs which in megabytes is 4096 and we need to hit an M after that for megabytes um, you could also, I do want to note, um, with later versions of Windows you can say 4G and denote gigabytes but for, for these purposes we're going to be exact and say megabytes and then we need to define the minimum that we want to run it with which right now we're just going to do this simply and we're going to say um, sorry uh, we're gonna say the same thing 4096 so no matter what we want Windows to allocate uh, 4 gigs of RAM to Minecraft um, then we're gonna tell it what type of program that we're executing and that's a jar and then we're gonna tell it exactly what program we're gonna run now this is where a lot of a lot of videos show you you know you can type in the file path and create you know point it into a particular direction but we're gonna do this an easier way um, since this uh, since this notepad or batch file is in the same folder as our Minecraft executable, we don't have to point it anywhere. It's going to automatically look for whatever you type in um, or whatever you tell it to look for in that folder. So since we have in our folder the Minecraft exe, that's all we have to put. Minecraft.exe. And now that right there, we're going to go ahead and save as. And remember not to save it as a regular text file. You want to save it as a batch file. Um, and if you're in regular notepad you can just append it with dot bat and now we're gonna close that and so now this right here is what we created so when we click this it tells the command prompt to run Java with uh, four gigs exactly and we're gonna run minecraft.exe so now we're here and we can go ahead and log in you can see it operating up here uh, do note that you don't want to close this because if you close the batch file you're closing the run command and you will close Minecraft. So if you look here now, you can see up here at the top, um, allocated memory 100%, meaning we're using all of what we've allocated. Not, not that we're necessarily using it, but um, we have it all allocated immediately. So 
this is the simple way to do it um, I'm also going to show you now how to do a range of memory so say you have quite a bit of RAM to play with and you you, you know you want to start it with a lower but decent amount and still allow Minecraft to increase the amount that's used if it needs to so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this back up and we're gonna change this up a little bit um, first of all let's open our RAM amounts here um, say that we want to run it with a minimum of 4 gigs but we have plenty of RAM so we want to allow it to go up to 8 gigs we're gonna go ahead and take the megabyte amount for 8 gigs here and this first one right here again is your maximum memory so we're gonna make that 8 gigs 8192 megabytes but we also tell it we want to run it with at least 4 so that's how much it's gonna allocate right off the bat and if we go ahead and save that and close it um, let's rename this to run 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes so that we know what it is and if we run that like that same thing tells Windows to execute that file with um, that much memory and let's show you what this looks like all right so now you can see up here allocated memory 53% um, that's 53% of the max that we've allowed it which is 8 gigs and right now see we're only at seven percent use we're only using 593 right now um, but you know say we we go do more ram intensive stuff it's going to increase like let's uh let's fly around down by this lava you can see it slowly going up so things like that that increase um increase the usage of your client resources like hd texture packs especially is a big thing you know a lot of people like hd texture packs and usually you're going to require more ram to do things like that or you know servers or single player where you've got lots of lots of crazy stuff going on in the background like large amounts of lava and lighting um, the same thing's going to apply so it's very simple and um, I'm going to go ahead and include it in the description uh, all these RAM amounts I have everything from one and a half gigs uh, all the way up to 10 gigs which if you want to use that much I don't think there's really any reason for that but I'm going to put it there in case you want to use it anyway so I um, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope it's helped out. Um, post in the post a comment if you have any questions, and like the video if you've enjoyed it. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to make a help video on, because I'm pretty much down for anything. All right, have a good one.